Hello guys, hello again YouTube. Today I am back with this haul. It's my fall winter haul. It's also a little bit of Black Friday haul. Now I filmed the Black Friday haul, although I'm not really getting anything too crazy. The only things I'm getting for Black Friday are like hats. I'm gonna be going out with Manuel so you never know what I may get myself into. Today's Black Friday. I hope this video goes live today. Just in case you guys want to check something out until Cyber Monday. I'll give you some ideas really what I've been buying. Also, if you get a chance to check them out on sale as well. First thing first, I'm going to start with the clothes so I can get these things out of here because it's like overwhelming. I've been waiting to do this haul for the longest time because I wanted to like pack things away, get them organized. I haven't been able to do that because I haven't filmed this haul with you guys. If you are wondering where this mint green sweater is from, it's from Mango from last year. I don't know if they still have it, I will check. If they do, I'll link it below. If not, then maybe I'll link something similar. First thing first, we're gonna start with hats. You guys know I am obsessed with hats, especially lack of color hats. Lack of color make the best hats ever. Oh, also, I may look a little different because I Changed the parting in my hair I went back to side parting if you've been watching my channel for the longest time you know up until last year I never did a middle parting although now I prefer middle parting I'm gonna go back to it but I thought I wanted to kind of like try to go back to side parting to see how I feel about it I'm gonna be going back to my middle parting next month although next month is like tomorrow and like I was saying lack of color make the best hats because their hats are like such good quality so sturdy this one is called the one just came out just this month in November as soon as I saw it I'm like I had to have it it's so so good it's in this kind of like brownish it's kind of like a chocolatey brown camel deeper camel color and then it has a thinner strap um, also since they're having a black friday sale I ordered two more one for my trip for my new year's trip which is going to be somewhere war warm the other one is the one that i wore in dc which was deb i really love it i went ahead and order that one as well i'm gonna link this below if you guys want to check it out if you're looking for really really good quality hats or not floppy at all i used to hate floppy hat i mean i still do hate floppy hats some of them have their place but i hate when you buy a hat thinking that it's going to be sturdy and stay in your head it's like super floppy look weird but these they don't lose their shape they're pretty sturdy i do need to get a hot box so i can store them because it looks like i'll be going a really good collection of hats so that's for lack of color also stad had another sample sale guys i had no idea um stad ha was having another sample sale until i went to an event at Majuri. i was talking to savon because the bag that i was carrying was a stad bag she's like are oh, you going to the sample sale i was like what there's another one so i'm like i had to go so on the last day which was last sunday when we and i we we went there i've got two bags and one item of clothing typically i'm not a big stud fan when it comes to their clothing oh, this stuff is more like trendy when it comes to their clothing i mean their bags too but i feel like the bags are so cute they sell timeless this is a keaton bag when i saw this little bag it's so cute as it just looked like a lovely little little button and also it reminds me of the pot back at home where you used to put water in you know the clay pots um we used to store water this kind of remind me of this bag it's super cute it's called a kitten bag and then this is in the tan color so this is kind of like my favorite color bag it comes with the, a dust bag inside store it it also have a strap which I would probably never use. This bag just doesn't go with a strap, sorry. But I'm happy they included it. I love, love the Keaton bag on sale right now. So I will link them below. Cheap. I ended up paying $62 for this. The first sample sale they had, things were more expensive. This one I got way better deals. The other bag, this is the first bag from Stad that I fell in love with a year or two years ago. This was that bag. This is the more bag it's the net bag with the little bucket it's like the cutest thing ever when it first came out i wanted it in this color the cognac color As time goes by i thought but it's such a feminine girly bag i thought i would get it in either a white color or the pink one so i ended up getting the pink bucket and then kind of like the beige net and this bag is so cute. I can see myself wearing this bag a lot in the springtime. In the summertime, springtime, if I get invited to a wedding somewhere in Italy or Mexico, I can wear a really, really nice, beautiful Zimmerman or 
floral dress. It's like paired with this bag. I really, really, I really, really, really love this bag. The thing was $50. I ended up paying $50 for this bag. I could not believe my, my luck. I'm so, so happy that I went to the Simple Sale. If Stad is having another Simple Sale, I will let you guys know if you want to check it out. Follow 260 Simple Sale or just follow Mongo. Mongo will tell you whenever the Simple Sales are happening. Or you can follow me too and I'll let you know. The other item that I got from Stad, I'll be going somewhere warm for New Year's. Well, the day after New Year's. I saw this skirt. This was only $30. This is kind of like a net skirt. Is that what I... That's a better name. This is called the Marlin skirt. It's kind of like a see-through. It does come with like some shorts to wear underneath. I'm probably not gonna wear the shorts. I mean, I could wear them at night. But the way I plan on wearing this is by um, the pool or at the beach over my bikini. But now thinking about it, since it has the short, I think I'm gonna start with the shorts with a nice cute little white top maybe. Like a nice cami. I really love the skirt. It's so beautiful. Again, this was only $30. They also had this in a navy blue color. Next thing is from Mango. You would have seen the sweater if you follow me on Instagram. I got this a while back. I'm meaning to share, share it with you. This is a multicolor knit sweater. I love a good knit. And I've been thinking a lot of the things that I have, like camo. I also wanted something that I could wear, that could pop over a dress. And I have like a slip dress that is in this kind of like similar color and like the mustardy yellow color. I thought those colors are still pretty neutral enough. Kind of like the pinkish that mustardy and then that navy blue I think this is a color that I can get behind they did have this other one in a color too kind of like similar to this they have this and some other color combination I don't know if they still have them if they do I will link it below I'm obsessed with this sweater because it's such a little like statement sweater but still like understated and still very neutral which is what I like about it I like things that are like very neutral but still make a statement which is why I love this I can pop this over a pink actually this is what i'm gonna wear today i have this slip skirt and then the pink kind of like it doesn't really go together although i need to return the skirt though so i need to go to jayku and return the skirt because the skirt is too big i need to get a size smaller another sweater that i'll show you but probably shouldn't it's from h&m actually reminds me of why i don't shop at h&m anymore i see that they do try to come back this is really cute, but when it comes to the quality, this sweater is $19. The reason why I bought it, it's like I don't really have like a super clean kind of like cream sweater. And then I also love like the pearl details on the turtleneck. And I wore this sweater. It gives me super warm, but it's super, super itchy. Also, this gave me a rash on my chin and neck. The rash is still here. Although I think my other necklace contributed to that as well. But if there's one thing that I can say, like H&M sweaters are always like are always so itchy for me. I think they're like the number one place where I buy sweaters and I find them to be like super, super itchy. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if I should do all J.Crew together. Put the J.Crew stuff together. I've been looking for this little fluffy sweater like this. Free little romantic sweater. I found this at TJ Maxx for 20 bucks to get it. I've been looking for something like this. Again, this is like a simple, perfect jumper for when I'm like lying around. And also if I want to make some content in the house, I, I would pop something like that. And I also love a V-neck. You guys know V-neck. It's kind of like my favorite neck. Banana Republic, I got... I got two of these blouses. The other one, this is the light pink one. It's kind of like the like satin finish because I was looking at my blouses. A lot of them are like this cotton material, which is fine. I love a good kind of like cotton or maybe poplin material. But sometimes when you want to like dress up in a nice shirt, you want something that's a little bit satinish or like silkyish, which is the reason why I decided to buy two of this. And the other one is in a cream color. Sorry for the clicking noise. Also from Banana Republic, last year I went to the Woodbury Common Outlet. I found this beautiful camel sweater dress that I wore literally all winter last year. If you watch my vlog from last year, you would have seen all of them. They had it in the grey color also, but I didn't buy it. By the time I went back, it was like sold out. Went back, me and Danielle, you would have seen the vlog where Danielle and I, well not yet, I haven't posted it yet, when we went to Woodbury Commons. I found the grey didn't make the camo anymore. If they had made the camo, I would have bought another one. 
just for backups which is what I've kind of like been doing if I really like something I buy backup just so I have it a great color something to kind of like just like wear gray is really not my color but I thought I'll buy this color to kind of like switch things up sometimes so it's not always camel camel again when I clean my closet I kind of like got rid of all my cheap sweaters this year I want to introduce more good quality sweaters in my closet and cashmere sweaters are one of the things that I'd like to add more in my closet and what is the best place to buy cashmere? I think Jeku is one of those places where you can find really really good quality cashmere sweaters and also at a good price. $98 but I think I got like 20% or 30% off for this and it's just like a regular cream sweater for me to just pop on to just wear with like you know a skirt and some boots over the winter and keep me really really warm so I really really love this sweater another thing that I got from Jeku I've been needing a really really nice good quality scarf because sometimes it gets super cold unlike yesterday and today it's been so so warm for Thanksgiving I got this beautiful cashmere yeah, this is a cashmere this is a wool um, beautiful beautiful scarf and I kind of love the different colors still very neutral this is kind of like a more peachy pink very blushy and then the cream at the end um so i really 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 love this scarf like it's so so beautiful i don't want to miss my hair so i'm not gonna show you but i like wanted a really really good quality scarf i do want to get one in the camel but i love this when i buy my white coat it will go really really well with that that I've been wanting from Jeku is a teddy coat. Three years ago, I had a teddy coat which I bought from Forever 21, and all of you guys love that teddy coat and I hated it. Not because I don't like teddy coats, but because the quality was so bad. It was from Forever 21, it was like 19 bucks. I gave it away last year, I just couldn't wear it anymore. I decided to get the Jeku. I just bought this the other day. I went to the store and picked it up. This is in a size small, and this beautiful, beautiful brown teddy coat i am obsessed with this coat it's super super cute really just want to wear it with everything but i will probably insert some pictures so you guys can see although i don't know what's going on when i insert pictures when i upload the video it just do this weird thing where it doesn't come up so i have to figure out what's causing that so i can fix it i'm going right now we went to oak and ford Oak and Ford, if you like neutral, if you have a capsule wardrobe where you wear a lot of neutrals, I'm sure you've definitely shopped at Oak and Ford and also aware of the brand. Like the perfect neutrals. Literally everything in the store I would wear the stuff is just like perfect for me. So I wanted kind of like a nice beige or light camo leather skirt and then i found this over there it's like so so beautiful Up, like in the front is like super structured i'm gonna be wearing this to go to to go to work i mean i can also wear this on the weekend with my other leather boots i could just do like a whole leather look or you know a few pieces here and there of leather in one look but i really 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 love the skirt and i also love the the whooshing on the back with the elastic which just make it so 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 comfortable so if you're looking for leather skirts that you can wear to your office job in the winter months, this is one of them. And it also has pockets. Like what girls does a little pockets. The thing that I got from Jeku is this beautiful light little sweater. Because sometimes I feel like I need a little bit like body ish sweater. If I'm wearing white like pants or certain looks, you can't really wear. I prefer loose clothing, but it's not every look that's going to go with something loose. And I feel like I need like a nice little you know basic turtleneck that i can wear with things like that what i like about this it has the detail on the collar and also on the sleeves which makes it extra special so it's not just like your regular red turtleneck this has some detail to it this is from j crew it was on sale for like 29 bucks i'll link it below if i can find it if it's still available and you guys know i'm obsessed with slip dresses and slip skirts when i saw this on the website i had to have it i love love this I just wish I had, you know, ordered an extra small. So this is a little big. I had to went to Jacob to change it because that's what I wanted to shoot today. It's not a try on haul. If you guys want to see everything, just go to my Instagram, honestly. Another thing from Jacob. The thing with Jacob, the sizes varies. Sometimes it makes it difficult for me to shop. 
ordered the sweater in a medium I wanted a pink sweater dress this is way way too big for me so this is something that you can wear on Thanksgiving or like Christmas dinner where you're gonna be eating a lot need extra room this I could actually uh, pair with my net bag and if I have some white boots this was well this will go well I believe that's it for clothes now we're gonna move on so for accessories I've been wanting like a really really nice newsboy hat the other ones I don't really like the shape too much but this one I found it in the perfect color this is like a chocolatey brown although they call it cognac on the website I'm going to go horseback riding tomorrow with Deb and this actually perfectly complete my look this maybe I would pop on this actually looks more of a dormant hat to me than a newsboy cap look at this guys isn't this like so so cute I love this again this is on sale this is from 9 West it was like 21 bucks so if you're looking for something similar mango I feel like I need it when it comes to going to events sometimes I want bag that I can just put over my shoulder because sometimes you know I need to do stories I need my hands free one hand for a drink the other drink the other hand for my phone sometimes it's very very difficult when I'm carrying those bags although those bags look a lot a thousand times better but sometimes it's like hard so I thought I would order this little bag for those days where I need something to kind of like put across my body so currently for $19 I don't think they have the black anymore but they do have the brown it's like perfect bag you can just Whereas a crossbody, although it kind of like changes your look and make your look more casual. If you have a lot of good quality sweaters like cashmere wool, so the laundress is sold at J. Crew. You can order these. So I got the wool and cashmere shampoo. This is kind of like to clean your clothes. My cashmere sweater, those I can like hand wash. And I also have the wool and cashmere spray. So you can just kind of like spray your sweater if you think it's clean. Probably put perfume in there and then you'd like to like change the scent. So this is to kind of like spray. This is like little accessories for, you know, for you guys to keep in mind when it comes to preserving your things. Now let's move on into beauty. For beauty, I went to Ulta the other day because I needed the Eva and YC mousse. I decided to get this. I've been wanting this for when my other brushes. I don't keep a lot of things around. I keep the bare minimum, the products that I really, really, really love and use. So I'm still a beauty blogger, so that's why I have a, you know, like a shelf completely for beauty stuff that I need to try. Will Techniques and Sig Sigma make some of my favorite brushes ever. But I would get another one to just kind of like do my makeup because right now I have about two amount of brushes where I could do my makeup with like a full set of brush and then um, I have just another backup so this will just like get me there this one for my powder this one I use for my foundation this one for concealer and then this one I get this to kind of like add some more brushes to my collection I give away a lot of my other brushes that I wasn't using because I only like to keep the things that I actually like to use. I've already Noble Techniques makes some of my favorite blushes. If you go back to my channel when I used to do makeup videos, you would have seen all that. Also went to Chanel and got their Rouge Allure Ink in the number 176. It's so 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 perfect for the day where you need a nude lip which is what I'm currently wearing on my lips. It kind of like remind me of Kat Von D Lolita. So this is what what it looks like and this is the color in the tube. Oh, I also went to Sephora when I have my VIB coupon. Again, I don't buy things I don't need. I only buy the minimum that I need. So I only got like three things. One of them was the Laura Mercier Primer. I've been dying to use this. I got the foundation and primer blemish less primer. I don't know to me primers don't really do much but do I see a difference I don't know maybe I do maybe I don't but again maybe it just doesn't work with whatever foundation I am using it with I do want to try their BB cream or CC cream or even their foundation to kind of like try to see how it works with the primer I feel like this worked really well with my YSL foundation and the Chanel one. For the DUO one, it doesn't really work well with the DUO one. That I got from Sephora, Tortoise Mascara. You guys know it's my favorite mascara. I always refill this, so I need another one. I was in the market for a new eyeliner. Yeah, eyeliner. 
so I do I got the Stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner I really 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 love this it was recommended to me on Instagram by one of my friends really love that um, eyeliner for the perfect cat eye I really love the felt tip it's just so easy to use if you're a beginner definitely definitely try the Stila all day eyeliner it, it's so so easy to use another thing that I really really like so I am on the pixie PR so months ago they sent me the vitamin C collection which I've kind of like put away didn't really use it just this was when I had just moved in so around March they sent this uh, was it March so around April or May they sent this so it's just been sitting in the corner until two months ago I decided to start using this and oh my god it literally changed my skin I use it in conjunction with the vitamin C serum I honestly the whole vitamin C line it makes the big difference so I mentioned it on Instagram and I actually you know got it for my friend Vanessa and her skin is clearing up like crazy so if you have crazy acne if you have leftover dark spot if you suffer from dull skin just make sure you get the vitamin c tonic it will literally change your life especially especially if your skin is acne prone it will change it it changed my skin it's changing all my skin even some of you guys on instagram who have recommended this to you went out and bought it yourself and you've been telling me how your skin has been doing so so much better since you've started using it so if you guys are looking for something like that, I would definitely, definitely recommend this. This works. It works so, so well. And you see the difference within just like a week of using it. I went out. I was on my last drop. Let me show you. So this was the one they sent me. As you can see, I've used literally everything. So I was at Target the other night. I just decided to pick another one up because I cannot live without this. And this is one of those happy accidents where, you know, PR send you this products and then you ended up falling in love with it. It ended up working out so so well. So this was one of those lucky lucky moments which I'm so so thankful for. Alexa, what time is it? It's 1.23 p.m. Like I did get some more stuff, but I can't really think of anything else that I haven't shown you guys. I'm gonna go now. I have to meet my in about half an hour. I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye. Alright guys, that's it for my haul. If you decide to check some of the things that I mentioned here out, do, do let me know how they work for you. How do you like them? And if you have any recommendations for me, also just let me know. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you liked it. If you don't like it, you can dislike it as well. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed if you're watching this. So thank you again so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye bye guys so I forgot to include one thing in the video so I thought I would come back and show it to you guys which is a very very exciting purchase for me I wanted some Stuart Wiseman knee-high boots for the longest time this is not what I got unfortunately because it didn't have them in my size I should have waited actually because now they have them from Saks or Fifth I got the Stuart Wiseman cling black suede i got them in a size seven although i think six and a half would have been better for me this stuff do run a little big when it comes to their boots so i think if you're like a six like a half a size bigger could work for you or even your size like the sock boot it's so funny they were in my shop so i had to go get them so these are the sock boots and they are so sexy guys and so classy I love them so much. I, I love, love these boots. Again, you don't really have to get Stuart Wiseman sock boots. You can get any brand as long as they look good. You sh you'll be fine. Those are the ones that I got. I love them. Um, I love wearing them with, you know, long flowy dresses. With like an all black outfit. You just want to look so uniform and classy. So those are like a staple in your wardrobe. You can never go on with them. That's it. I think that's the only item that I forgot to share with you guys. Oh, I do have something else. So I forgot to show you guys this little net thing that I bought to kind of like when I am changing into my turtlenecks. I can easily do that without the makeup getting onto them. So what you do is you just pop this over your head. This is actually supposed to be the zipper is supposed to be on the side, but I prefer it in the front. So there's really no rules, it's whatever works for you. 
because as soon as I zip, you know, put my sweater on or take it off, I'd like to like be able to just, you know, unzip it straight on. So I'm gonna leave a link below. This is the best invention ever. Like I do not know how I've waited so long for something like that to be invented, or maybe I just didn't know about it. Also, the other thing that I got was this little spa. It's called a spa facial headband. I love, love this headband, especially when my hair is installed and if I am doing a makeup tutorial, not really a makeup tutorial, I'm not a makeup artist, well, I'm not a makeup artist, although I used to be. I used to do makeup for people. I used to get paid for it too and I learned everything on YouTube. And it's like when I'm doing my skincare routine, either for myself when my hair is installed or if I'm doing it for you guys, this is like so easy to just kind of like pop over. You know when you go to the spa, you get this little headband. So you just kind of like pop this over like so and then you just like get your hair out of your face so you can go on and kind of like do your makeup routine. This again from Amazon. I've been loving Amazon.